All right, so I want to talk about algebraically closed fields. Um, so algebraically closed fields are fields where you're allowed to factor them into so the the so the, the motto I guess or the, uh, the the main point is that is that if uh, so if f is algebraically closed and then um, for you know any polynomial that you have um, uh, here, so let's write a0 plus a1x plus a... D, let's, do, let's do monic polynomials, so x to the d. So here, ad is equal to 1, right? So this thing factors as x minus alpha 1, x minus alpha d, uh, where, where these things are, are elements of f. And this is any any polynomial off the street. So this is any uh, element of. Okay. So uh, that's what it. So so it, let's just give the formal definition, right? So uh, the formal definition says a field uh, F is algebraically closed. Uh, if and only if. Um, for all f of x and f of x, so there exists some alpha in f such that f of alpha is equal to zero. Okay, so that's the definition of what an algebraically closed field is. This is a little different from this one, but the 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 two definitions are the same. So if f is algebraically closed. then every um, uh, f of x in f of x of degree uh, d greater than or equal to 1, uh, which is monic. So monic means the top degree term is 1 like we had here. So this is, this is a monic, right? So you look at this coefficient here, that's 1. So is monic uh, uh, then then so if f is algebraically closed, every f and f of degree greater which is which is monic uh, has uh, so for every which is monic okay so let me do it in terms of quantifiers so there exists alpha one through alpha d in f such that. Uh, f of x is x minus alpha 1, uh, x minus alpha d. OK, so let's do the proof of this. Um, so uh, the proof is by induction on d. On uh, the degree. Right, so if the degree is 1, that's the base case. Well, then, it, since it's monic, f of x looks like x minus alpha, right? And we're done. OK? Um, if, uh, so th let's do the inductive step. So let's just do the inductive step. Uh, suppose uh, the the result holds for polynomials uh, for, for let's say uh, degree less than n, right? And then prove it for n. All right. So then, what, 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 uh, so, so by, the, by the definition of algebraically closed, so we said that it only needs to have one root, right? So there exists some alpha 
So this is this is a degree. So this thing is degree n, by the way. So a, a alpha in f. Sorry. Sorry, that's not what I want to say. So uh, there exists some alpha in f such that uh, f of alpha is equal to zero. So f of alpha is uh, or f of x is our degree uh, here. F of x in f of x is our degree n polynomial. Okay, so then what we do we do this trick where you do f of x minus f. So we do f of x is this uh, f of x minus alpha, and so this is like a sum of a j x to the j. Uh, minus uh, sum of a j alpha to the j for j is equal to zero up to n j is equal to zero up to n and so this this thing here uh, so this gives you a sum like this x to the j minus a j, uh, alpha to the j and then you can apply the difference of powers formula here all so and and, and the zero term cancels right Okay, and so now you get to apply difference of powers, and this becomes, um, uh, and so he, alpha is an F, so this becomes something like uh, X, so you can factor out this, then you get some crap in each one, and then you get this, and this thing has degree uh, N minus one, and uh, G of X is in, so, it would be an f of alpha, but alpha is already in f like this. So this thing's an f of x, and then now now we apply the inductive hypothesis. So so now here what we do is we to finish you know, apply the inductive hypothesis, and so that that factors this thing out. Okay, it's monic, and um, uh, and then we we get to factor this into all the the other pieces, all, all the uh, a product of monomial terms, okay, um, and and that's all there is to it um, about those those the you know proving that having one root if you always have one root then you can keep repeating this process peeling off a term, and and then you're done, um, okay, so uh, okay so now there, there's so, so that's kind of the basic discussion of what um, uh, a, a, an algebraic closure is. Um, and so let me just say, uh, so an algebraically closed field is, so if, okay, so if F is a field, uh, there always exists uh, some F bar uh, containing it, which is algebraically closed. Uh, let's say let's do it like this. There always exists some omega containing it, which is algebraically closed. This is another field, and um, within omega, uh, so the algebraic closure. of f in omega, right, is the following. So it's the set of, um, so it's the set of elements that are algebraic over f. So it's, it's f bar. This is the set of alpha in omega, such that there exists some f of x in f of x, such that uh, alpha, uh, alpha is so, such that f of alpha is equal to uh, zero. All right, so that's the idea. So the idea, so okay, um, and and okay, so the, so so uh, so every field, so 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 the upshot is every field uh, has an algebraic cl closure. And um, so, I mean, this is maybe this isn't the upshot, but this is like a fact. Okay, so let me just say this. This is this is a fact. Fact one is that 
every field has an algebraic closure, so it's like kind of some minimal algebraically closed field containing it. And the, the second fact that, I, that, I, that I'm going to use freely is that uh, any two algebraic closures closures of F are isomorphic. So in a sense that all of those are unique. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to construct it, but it's going to get into weeds with things that you don't really need to know. So if this is your first time doing field theory, or uh, I would say, or, or you don't really want to worry about this, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to stop the video here, but uh, and then I'm going to say some more things that um, that will be good for for people who do want to to worry about this sort of thing. Okay.